would people uh, automatically lose weight as well if just their percentage was increased? Uh, it kind of depends. Um, but they would, there would be a tendency to. What do you think would happen uh, if your average person was just to increase their protein percentage that they ate in a day, maybe by like 10%? Because it's my understanding uh, with the standard American diet that people have like 12, 13% uh, of their calories come from protein. So what if we saw that jump to 23%? What would happen? All, all kinds of good things. All kinds of good things. Um you know, the average uh, American consumes somewhere between 14 to 16% protein a day. Uh, also, you know, the average American consumes a really crappy diet <laughs> otherwise <laughs> as well. Right. But protein is, is, a uh, it's really quite the, the MB, MVP of, of macronutrition since it'll not only, um, increase satiety or, or increase hunger control, but it'll also increase the so-called thermic effect of the diet. So it costs more energy. You burn more energy to metabolize protein. And also um, you'll increase your chances of uh, gaining or retaining lean body mass, especially in resistance training conditions, which honestly is a non-negotiable if you care about health. So, so those are the three big benefits of increasing protein in the diet. Guys, when's the last time you got your blood work done? Do you know your cholesterol, your vitamin D, your testosterone, your prolactin, your estrogen? Well, do you even know what the heck you need to get tested? That's why we've partnered with Merrick Health, and we've also talked to industry experts who gave us a list of 26 different panels for men and women that'll be the ideal panels for you to get done so you know how to deal with your health. Andrew, can you tell the people how to get it? Yes, head over to MerrickHealth.com slash Power Project. You guys will see the Power Project panel that Encima was just talking about. This whole panel includes a written report as well as a consultation with a real doctor. Again, MerrickHealth.com slash Power Project at checkout. Make sure you enter promo code Power Project for $101 off this panel. Head over there right now. Would people uh, automatically lose weight as well if just their percentage was increased? Uh, it kind of depends. Um, but... They would, there would be a tendency to, there, there would be a tendency to, because of the increase in hunger control and because of the slight thermic increase, you'd put those together and, um, there, there would be, definitely be an increase in lean body mass percentage. Um, there, there's some controversy going on now with, uh, with how much exercise helps in, in weight loss, but people are looking at the wrong things. They're looking at total body weight. They're not looking at body composition, mm. but yeah, with the question of protein I increases in protein, there definitely would be a tendency to, um, decrease body fat over time. If all the other variables are held constant. Yeah. What if someone's had like, so let's say a 2000 calorie a day diet and they had 200 grams of protein and then say that somebody else had like 75 grams of protein. Do you think over time that you're going to see the person with a higher protein uh, continue to maybe make some positive changes in their body composition versus the other individual? I would definitely put my money on that for sure.